In this episode, can I interest you in a little gift? May come in handy? Yeah, thank you. You know, this is what an offering of municipal bonds looks like. <coughs> All right, it's the day before Thanksgiving. And this turkey here wants to go out and help the homeless. So he went out, he bought all kinds of stuff to help them with their everyday necessities needed. Toothbrushes, deodorant, hand sanitizers, tissues, things that they really can use. So we're gonna go out there, him and the whole crew bagged up a bunch of stuff. We're gonna go out there and we're gonna hand it out to everybody so they can have a happy, clean Thanksgiving. Yeah, and you say I bought it, but we bought it because I used no. your I used your card, but you know. So you were there in spirit. And we went to your shopping center. So we went to our shopping way. center and bought up a bunch of stuff and we're going out and give it to people that are in need. That's what we're doing the day before Thanksgiving. Go! Try the bags, Aaron, let's go, we're late. Rafal, we found you a house right there. Pick the green one or the blue one. How much? I don't know. We'll make them an offer. And you could walk out of your house every day and be in the middle of all this. I feel like you're in New York right here. Next door to Walmart, what else could you ask for? What happened? I don't remember seeing that. Or you usually wear pants. I usually wear pants over there. Oh, okay. My dad said, was he missing a leg? On an adventure with Vincent. We're about 40 minutes away from serving. You know, it's all family out there. And you know, Pat. But yeah, once the show gets rolling, you know, we're just gonna serve all the residents here at Salvation Army. Uh, that's like, you know, we got the woman's deodorant, got hand sanitizer, toothbrush, toothpaste, bubble gum, awesome. after they eat. Oh yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm a recruiter right now. Oh, you're a recruiter? Oh, but my normal. You know, it was a recruiter we never had time. saved my life. Really? I grew up in New York. I got in a lot of trouble when I was a kid. You know, growing up in New York was tough. And uh, back then, you know, so my father said, go see the recruiter, go see the recruiter. If I wanted to see the recruiter, he was really a cool guy, and he understood the situation I was in. I was in a lot of trouble. Yeah. And he said, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We're going to go, and we're going to talk to the court. So he goes to the court, and he set it up to where he came to court with me. And I was supposed to be sentenced probably to about 18 months in a real prison. Yeah. And then uh, I was 17 and then I was gonna be in a real prison with men, grown men, you know. And he came to court me that day. We stood in front of the judge right there next to me. I had the bailiff on my left, I had the recruiter on my right, and I'm standing in front of the judge. And the judge has seen me before. Yeah. So he goes to me, he says, okay, big shot, because he's seen the recruiter there. What are you gonna do? I swear to God, I saluted the judge, and I turned to the recruiter, and I said, I'm ready. <laughs> and the recruiter got me out of trouble, yeah. got me out of New York, okay. and if I would have stayed in New York, I'd be guaranteed I'd be dead today. Wow. Guaranteed, or rotting away in a prison. What you end up doing? What you end up doing? Before we start feeding all these great people at the Salvation Army, let me tell you about our sponsor, my bookie. Skip the arguments with Uncle Dave on Thanksgiving and focus on what really matters. Good food, boosted odds, and hitting those turkey day parlays. Picture this, not just watching games, but turning every second into a potential win. With my bookie, you can stream the games and live bet them and turn any game day into a payday. Ready to up your game? Sign up today and make your first deposit with promo code MALA for a sweet deposit bonus up to $1,000, baby. That's promo code MALA to claim your bonus. This isn't just a promo code, it's your secret weapon to get the extra edge on the house. The best part is you don't need to be a sports whiz to win in my bookie. You can cash in on everything from politics to your favorite shows and then some. Bet anything, anytime, and anywhere, only with my bookie. And always bet responsibly. Thank you, my bookie, for sponsoring this video. Now let's go see some great folks. Hairnet? Okay, I never wore one before. You got anything with a little more hair on it? <laughs> I could use a little more hair. It looks good on you. There you go. 
I need more in the front. A little bit more in the front. Now. Yeah. Your hairline looks good now. Now it looks good. You're all right. Yeah, it looks yeah. like you got a hairline. There you go, Wick. Lined up. Let me straighten your hairline I'm out. I'm gonna right? go buy some. Where'd you buy them? I'm gonna go buy them and buy them with a little more hair. What happens if I double down on, double yeah. up on them? If you no, double more up, hair, it'll look like a, an afro. You'll be picking it. At there that you point. go. Look at this. They got the ham. Beautiful. Hey, Dad, don't be eating the ham, okay? It's for everybody else, not for that, you. That's, that's something, that's great. Fresh, too, he just, oh, uh, look at him spoiling you. You gotta You know what? Every I gotta time, taste the food. Okay, every time you go somewhere, you get special treatment. Mm. What'd you think? <laughs> He's gonna be walking out the back with a whole tray. That's delicious. This is quality ham. Damn. There's nothing like a piece of delicious, hot, fresh ham. And it's sweet and not fat. You know the way that it's hard. That's it. Mm. That's okay. delicious. I promise I won't tell you the recipe. <laughs> I need to tell my wife. You cook that ham? That ham was really good. I'd rather eat that than a honey baked. Oh. So Ben, this is my daughter, Janae. She's gonna, Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. She's the director of Janae. That sounds like what our dad does. He does a little bit and then he just makes you do everything else. Well, that's how you learn. So I'm teaching her today. All right, you're the boss. Whatever you say, everybody will do. You let them know what you need Ben to do. You sign them up. Whatever you want me to do. do. What you need for stuffing, is that okay with you? Stuffing. It's gonna be at the hot spot. Is that because I'm fat? Is that why you put me with the stuffing? Because no. I'm stuffed. I look like I'm a stuffed no. teddy bear. She thought of stuff. He looks like the yeah. stuffing guy. So we'll Whatever you want me to do, I'll do. You got fried chicken duty? Don't put him near any chicken. No chicken. He'll be eating it more than be serving it. Okay. If ice cream, let me tell you something. <laughs> do I look like I ever scooped ice cream? Actually, okay. I was fired from Baskin and Robbins in New York City. What? Because I wasn't that good at scooping ice cream. <laughs> the place was a disaster. The guy said, you gotta go. He was Chinese. Yo, you come over here. Customer complain, you make big mess. It never looked like the picture on the wall when I made it, but I'll do whatever you want me to do. I don't care. We start, we grab a scoopful. Yep. It's that simple. You can't mess this up. Can't mess it up. Okay. And it goes on the plate, not not in your pocket, <laughs> nowhere else. Not in my mouth. Not in your mouth. Because that stuffing looks really good. <laughs> you got, you got, do we have five minutes yet or no? Yep. I'll tell you the truth. I need to go out and have a cigarette. Go do that. Yeah, right out that back door. Go do that. All right. Ready, Chef? You know how much you want to get? One scoop. I got fresh stuff in here. Now that I'll take. You and me are alike. Uh-huh. Okay, you know they say I'm on a seafood diet. I see food, I eat it. There you go. Enjoy, yeah, enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, you're holding up the line. Let's go, let's go. Sorry, I'm trying to get some extra on here. Hey, don't run out, don't run out. Enjoy, sir. You're holding up the line, that's good. Look at that. Enjoy. Here you go, sir. I got one ready here. Here you go, sir, enjoy. Here? They stay here, they're allowed to stay here for a while, and then they have to get a job and everything else, but they help them in that period of time, so they give them housing. That's about 80 people. This is year long, we just never saw it. But we come out every year for Thanksgiving. Can you scoot over a little bit? No. Enjoy, sir. Go, sir. Enjoy. You got it? You need a hand? That guy right there, hair that's too. the cookie. I cut your hair? I cut your hair earlier too. He cuts the hair, he cuts the turkey, he cuts everything. And we got yams, we got stuffing. He's stuffing and I'm dressing. There you go, sir, enjoy. Hey, this guy used to be a football player or something, man. Hey, he's usually the biggest guy I'm with. Come on, you're holding up the line. Let's go, let's go. He said no yams? No, he said no yams? Take them off. Here you go, sir. There you go, sir. Enjoy, enjoy. A little more yams on there. Come on, get back to those yams. Let's go. What are you waiting for? Move it. Hurry up. 
Here you go, man. Thank you. We got about 30 more people for this bucket. Okay. 20 more people. I'm down to about 10 scoops. Oh All right. We got Jersey, we got Brooklyn. I'm sorry, folks. These people, they're watching what they eat more than I do. <laughs> you need to start. I need to learn from them. Well, they're a couple years older than I need you. everything. He said, no turkey, and he wants ham. Get it right. Boy, I tell you, good help's hard to find. How about stuffing? You want some dressing? You know I like the double scoop. Oh, I didn't know he wanted double scoop. Over here, messing around. Here we go, double scoop it, baby. Double scoop it. Uh, one scoop so for first you, day. one scoop for him. It's our first day. <laughs> I'm just here to watch him, make sure he don't take nothing. A little uh, emergency package. Can I interest you in a little gift? May come in handy. Yeah, thank you. One for you, sir. Thank you very much. Hi, Gene. Don't listen to this man. Hi, Gene. No, my name's Ben. Hi. Okay, so get one yes, sir. Get one, ben. Yes, thank sir. You, enjoy. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Enjoy your day. It's like, oh, we got dental floss? Here you now go, we sir. Talking. We got floss. Now, we, because I bite my nails all, I always bite my damn nails and I get my teeth out. Too man, I'm. How's the food? Real good, bro. I'm just real grateful, man. This is the real thing. Southwest trying to put together like we got people handing out uh, turkey dinners and everything. Good stuffing. My favorite is stuffing. You know what I mean? And it's just a blessing, man. A good day to good to be alive. You know, a lot of us probably did, probably did made it. You know, got a lot of overcoming stuff we overcame. And now we're here fellowshipping, you know, doing it, yeah, doing what's right, you know, and thanking God first. There you go, sir. Have a gift from us. Thank you. There you go, sir. There you go, sir. You get something? You need the ladies' one. Did you get one? Yeah, get him one. There you go, sir. Thank you. Here you go, sir. Here you go, sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Again for All right, enjoy your day. Thank you. Here you go. Oh, yeah, you. just a little care package. Right. Yeah, thank you. Have a good day. Come on, Paul, keep moving. All right. Yeah, food was great, buddy. Sleep good tonight, man. Take care, buddy. Everything. I want everything. He just want a whole box of ham to go. Look at that. Enjoy, enjoy. He opened his YouTube channel. He's a little life. I almost hit a million. Not yet. I'm close. 920,000. See? And if you watch it, you might learn about real estate. And then you can buy him a big fancy house one day. Yeah, so we can sit there and do nothing. <laughs> Better yet, buy apartments and make them run them. <laughs> little turkey, little rice. My favorite. Ham, I love me some ham. This ham is kosher, isn't it? A little yams, because I kind of cut down on the sugar. And my favorite, dressing. Look at that, baby. Happy Thanksgiving. It don't get no better than this. Because you know why? Because this food was made with love. Not like my wife's. Thank you very much. But no, seriously, you did a great job. You guys are wonderful people. You know, we got to, I know. I know you're here to help, but yeah. we got a bunch of these for the kids. Thank you. you know, I thought I was asking for one. Please, so please, give them to all the kids. Said you can have one. Okay, so take any of the kitty ones you want. Please. As the girl one. Thank you so much. All right. Well, it was very nice. You know, took a lot of time and effort and money for him to go and buy all this food and make it and cook it and, and, and come here, you know. Some really nice people in the world. Mmm, that's good. That's really good. I want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. And remember, if there's somebody out there that you can help, help them. You know why? Because it's the best feeling you'll ever get. But this is like hardcore helping people in charity. I mean, feeding people, come on. You take a hungry person and you feed them a good meal, that's some serious help. Don't, don't get in too much trouble tonight. Oh, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna keep them out of trouble. Okay. <laughs> you too. Don't get in no more trouble. I'm gonna package all this because all this is leftovers. 
Jeff said he, he'll use it tomorrow to do Thanksgiving dinner. That's great. So. That's great. You guys are really fabulous. Yeah, I appreciate, I, I appreciate uh, that. You guys are really, truly great people. This guy really takes serve. He serves our country. He serves our country really with his bare hands. Look at him. Look at that, moving that ham. That was good. My wife's going to have a hard time uh, topping that tomorrow. Well, we can't thank you enough. We really appreciate it, and we wish you guys the best holiday. Thank you. All right, thanks very much. Staff Sergeant, you're not an officer, but I'm still saluting you. This is the guy that used to tell me, the guy with those stripes, get down and give me 20. I don't mess around with this dude. No, you don't mess with him. But you know, guys like him, they're good, they're, they're great people, but don't get on the wrong side. <laughs> All right, have a great holiday, everybody. Thank you very much. Yeah, don't Thank forget you. to take off the hair net. I mean, your, I mean your hairline. Oh, man. <laughs> I think it's wear a, I think it's a, I'm wearing it. I like it. I like it. I don't need hairspray now. Hey, you used to wear one of those in Oakland, didn't you? No. Yes, you hey. did. I need a cigarette after that. Holy shit. You want one of mine? I ain't got no black and miles. Rafal, you're all in my goddamn only business. Fans, only fans. But you did really good, and I feel good, so I know you feel good. Because you got a lot of karma that you could catch up on. Aaron, I know you feel good, because you do a lot of dirt that no one knows that you should be happy for. I've been and helping people all my life. You're a perfect example of it. I'm one of your success stories. <laughs> Here we are. It's the day before Thanksgiving. We're here at the Salvation Army in South St. Petersburg. And let me tell you, the Salvation Army here, they feed people, they house people, they protect people. And we just came in to give them a little help today. <coughs> what do you want to do, again? No, that was good. You had enough? <laughs> <That was> good. <laughs> <laughs> like he's gonna die. All right, let's go home. Back to work. All right, here we are. We just got back from Vegas. We did a big show there. As soon as we got back, I got Minaj here, our mathematical genius, determining. What do you do right now? What do you do to survive? What do you do to make money in the most safest, logical way? So what he's doing right now is he is looking at municipal bonds that are all over the country, tax-free muni bonds. But what do you do? Right now, you can buy bonds at a discount. You can go buy lower-paying bonds at a discount, which brings you up to what the par bonds will pay. Do you buy them at a discount or do you buy them at par? He's figuring out what's the best situation to invest in. That's what we're doing today, the day before Thanksgiving. We're helping people. We're trying to make money. We've already determined what properties we should buy debt down in because rates are so high right now, all right? And we have properties that aren't cash flowing that well. So what do we do? Maybe we should buy down some debt. So less money in the bank is more money in our pocket. But do you buy down debt or do you invest your money in municipal tax-free bonds? You figure out what the return is gonna be and whichever one's better, that's where you deploy your money to. That's what we've been trying to figure out today. We're coming up with a plan and he's doing his homework and then looking at strategies that make the most sense. Okay, you have to put your money to work, whether it's buying down debt, whether it's investing in, in instruments like municipal bonds. You have to figure out what makes the sense, what makes the most sense at the end of the day, and you have to consider what your tax liability is. That's a big factor, because if you have capital gains tax, which you will have to pay if you buy bonds at a discount, and you do make money. If they, we buy them at 75% cents on a dollar and they go to 100, which you're gonna go eventually, okay, you have to pay tax on that upside at 25%. You have to figure out if it makes sense, it makes money. Buy some merch, hit the link below. Keep reminding yourself, you know, this is what an offering of municipal bonds looks like. It gives me a headache just looking at it. Luckily, I got a brain here that doesn't get headaches. He actually feeds off this stuff. Some of us have brains for this stuff, some of us don't. The bonds, how long they go out for, what they're paying, uh, what they're rated, uh, what they're, when they mature. There's all kinds of factors involved when you're looking at buying any kind of financial instrument. You gotta do your homework. 
You got to know what you're buying. You got to know what the risk is. You got to see where the upside is and you have to make the right decision. It's money that the municipalities are borrowing. Basically, it's a loan. A bond is a loan. They want to fix up the water plant. They need uh, $50 million to do it. They go out to the public. They raise the money. You get to have, in this market today, a 5% return tax-free. And it's pretty much guaranteed, in my opinion. It's, built, it's backed by the municipality. They collect tax revenue. They pay their bills. You got the municipality, like the cities or the counties. And then you got the state backing them up. And then you got the federal government backing them up. And some of them even have special insurance on them. Okay? They have what they call GO bonds, general obligation. Okay, these are safe instruments that you can put your money into. Are they gonna fluctuate tied to interest rates? Yes, they're gonna go up and down. But at the end of the day, when it's time for those babies to be paid back, you're gonna get all your money back. And you got 5% tax free, all waiting for it, okay? That's the way I always felt like it was the safest place to be. You should have a portion of your wealth Put in something that's safe and gives you a modest return. If you put your money in the bank right now, yes, you will get up to 5.5% return on a money market account. But, ding, 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 you're going to get taxed based on your income. Okay? And in my income, I'm at a 37% tax bracket. So for every $100 I make, I got to give 37% back to Uncle Sam. This way, with tax-free beauty bonds, we don't have to pay anything. Why? Because we're reinvesting in our community and our country. That's the way it works in America. I mean, those bonds go towards building new schools. Those bonds go towards building new streets. They go towards building up cities from nothing. Rural areas, getting new uh, stop Water plants, signs. everything. There you go. That's it's cool. like giving charity, helping the country, and making some money. Everybody wins. I'm telling you, it's a cycle. The market's in a crash. Housing market's in a crash. It's time for 07 to 09. Like Big Short. I watched it on the plane. All the way back from Vegas. He watched the movie Big Short, and now he wants to invest all our money. Oh, 100 million credit default swaps. Is good. Weedy, weedy. Every time she I sees I love you too. Tickle your feet. Tickly, tickly, tickly. <laughs> All right, so we ready to rock and roll? Every time she sees that big dinner boat go by, like that hundred something foot dinner boat, she goes, oh, Papa boat, Papa, Rakiki. Like, I'm like, oh, there goes Papa. He's on his boat. She, I look smarter with these. You trust me now with your portfolio? A little more. It definitely makes a difference. You need somebody you can trust to talk to about real estate? Go to benmal.com slash shop, consult with Ben. Get me on the phone. Let's talk about how you can start making some moves to make some money in real estate. Subscribe. We haven't hit a million yet. Watch another video. Buy some merchandise. And don't forget about our sponsor. Adios, amigos.